So welcome back to Christine from Filipino Visa. Hi, Christine. It's truly wonderful to have you here. And again, thank you for your valuable time to speak with us today. Oh, the pleasure is mine, Peter. Thank you once again for having me here in your um, uh, broadcast. No, the pleasure is ours, I can assure you. This information <laughs> will be very handy for a lot of guys in the US who are wanting to bring their Filipinas over to the US. But uh, I guess that's not all the, the only visas you guys do, but we'll get to that in a moment. I'm fairly new as an affiliate member to Filipino Visa, probably about two or three months or so now, I think it is. Mm -hmm. um, but of course, I, as our previous video, I've been a member of Christian Filipina, which you guys are connected, yeah? Yes, it's connected. So um, okay. I am both the affiliate manager of uh, the both the departments. In the few months that I've been an affiliate of Filipino Visa, I've found that uh, the few people that have used your services already are speaking mm -hmm. very highly of them because people always come back and tell me, you know, what they feel about a service. And I won't promote any service unless I feel very confident that they're getting the very best. So mm -hmm. that's a good, okay. very good start there. And I thought, I thought just having a chat with you would allow all our viewers to hear directly from someone like yourself. So you can answer any questions that they may have or that they've been giving me, uh, which maybe okay. I can't answer as well as what you can. Mm -hmm. Okay, sure. Okay, Let's so if it's, it. like, <laughs> yep, if it's okay, we'll get straight into it now. Okay. So if we start off, we can just ask basically what type of visas does Filipino visa process? Oh, okay. I have a list for that. Um, the visas with, that we help our clients to process is, of course, the tourist visa. We also have the fiancé or K-1 visa. We have spousal or CR-1 visa. And we do K-2 and CR-2 as well. So we also have the uh, child report for birth abroad, um, special resident retirees visa for... Uh, for expats who wants to um, live here in the Philippines, and then the removal of condition and adjustment of status. Right, so you do quite a few visas, and, and it might seem a bit strange, an Aussie guy talking to you about American visas and all this, but simply because I've got about 70% of my viewers are from America. Okay, so yes. They, they, must, they must like my strange accent or something. I don't know what it is, but... <laughs> uh, we've got a lot of people from the U.S. that that, that are regular viewers of our channel. So, it, so some people from the U.S. have been telling me that tourist visas are very hard to get from the Philippines to the USA in general, even before COVID came along. In your experience, is that true? And can you tell us a little bit about the process for a tourist visa? Okay. Well, yes, that's actually true. It's true that it's hard to get a tourist visa if it will be for a wrong purpose, like staying for for good with their relatives in the U.S. or having a fiancé in the U.S. That's not the appropriate type of visa for that. So um, tourist b visa can be um, B-1 or B-2 permit. Um, I just want to explain this, that the B-1 permit grants holders permission to attend um, business meetings, conferences, conventions, trade fairs, and activities that are similar to that. So on the B2 uh, authorization, um, on the other hand, it allows the holder to take part in leisure and recreational activities such as um, sightseeing or sports activities. So of course, complete documents for B1 and B2 must be submitted to the console. Right, and that, that's what we call, I guess, in Australia, the B2 over there is equal to like our tourist or visitor visa here. Mm -hmm. Now, a K-1 visas still being processed and granted during COVID right at this point in time. I do notice on, on the uh, Filipino visa site, there's been uh, testimonials from people all through 2020 mm -hmm. of, of going to, the, to America, but what is... Um, What's, what's happening? Because I'm telling a lot of people are saying to me they're not processing any at the moment and mm -hmm. some, some are telling me they're doing emergencies or they're doing just for uh, women with children. 
So I thought we'd ask you that question and get it from your experience. Okay. Well, to answer your question, yes. Um, K-1 visas are still being processed as long as they have already met in person. I mean, the foreign, men, the American men and the, the Filipino woman. So however, of course, they have to wait for the opening of the U.S. Embassy for their interview due to the restrictions being observed from the COVID-19. But for those um, you see who became approved already, uh, probably the process have been processed or I mean, um, it has been uh, proceeded before the, the lockdown happened or maybe um, before the, um, the U.S. Embassy is closed. Right. So that, that's, um, that's probably a reason why, why some are getting through and some are not. And, and, uh, yes. so, so essentially they've got to wait for the, the embassy in the Philippines to reopen. Mm -hmm, and, that's and, right. have, you, have you heard any information when that might happen or it's still like everything else in the world it's all unknown at the moment well i am unsure i can't answer that but based on my experience my mother is actually um going to the u.s and she's applying for a tourist visa she was supposed to to be interviewed on january 19th 2021 but it was cancelled and moved till i think june or july so you see the difference of the um the time difference how long she will wait before she will be interviewed yes for sure so mm -hmm. we'll just sit, sit tight get your applications going maybe and 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 sit tight because they will progress to a certain point won't they right that's right yeah. so what what do you think i mean i know what the personal benefits of using a professional migration agent are but what do you think the, the benefits really are for um, someone who's wanting to do, say, a, a visa rather than doing it themselves? Okay. Well, of course, clients can save their time, their money and effort with the entire process, not just in the beginning, but the entire process. If, if they will work with experts, they don't have to worry that they will get denied because of uh, incorrect way of doing it. Uh, having an expert with their side will really help them go on the right path, yes. even in the interview and everything in the process. Okay, that, that's. Uh, I think it's very good reasons to to do it as well because look, not everybody is capable or understands paperwork and things like. Some people say to me, "So exactly. easy." Yeah, that some people mm -hmm. say it's so easy. You can just do it yourself. Well, maybe for that person it is rather easy, but for other people, it can be quite daunting. That's right. That's right. And if someone if someone wanted to uh, maybe just get an idea whether. Of, of what visa they should get or whether it's right for them. Can they actually get a free consultation with you guys or? Yes, yes, we provide um, free consultation. You may call us or we'll be the one to call you when you register in the Filipino visa website. You can add your uh, phone number there, uh, there and someone from our team will call you. Awesome, that's good. That, 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 wait, it just, it just gives people an idea on you know, if they're not real sure, they might be able to just clarify some things with you guys and then go from there. So that's that's really good that you guys do that. And with the with the um, consultants at Filipino Visa, are they all registered migration agents? Um, they are not registered migration agents, but they are experts in their field. With of course, with the thousands of uh, petitions they successfully handled. They know more because this is their field of expertise. So they've got a lot of um, experience around everything. And, and I guess they yes. understand the laws and, or, or the uh, processes right. and, and everything from Philippines and the USA? Mm -hmm. That's right. They really uh, are an expert in that. And will, will a, a client have the same the same consultant all the way through from the start to finish or does it change in, at different stages to different people? Not all the time, yes, it's changed. Uh, but we will have a consultant that will provide the best recommend, recommendation based on their specific situation. And another 
uh, specialist, the visa specialist, who will do the entire visa process. So it's a different um, person. Right. Okay. And that's just, just so they don't expect to have the same person all the way through and they think, oh, what's going yeah. on? <laughs> it's, it's, it's good yeah. for to, to have an understanding of that, I think. So that's good. What What is Filipino Visa's position around prompt and effective communication with clients? I know I've had, when I was going through my processes several years ago, and I did mm -hmm. have a, an agent for one thing, one agent that I had was very slow in replying. And it was quite frustrating to get my answers because of you know, you're very keen to get your, yes. your you know, to get things happening. So mm -hmm. what, what what sort of stand do or, or policies, I guess, do, do you guys have in regards to effective and prompt communication? Okay. Well, just like in Christian Filipina, this uh, Filipino visa has an open hotline 24-7, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and a staff can speak English fluently. So that's one good thing about um, the customer service. They they offer a high quality customer service. That's, that's good to know, especially around the 24-7 because of the time zones. Yes, yes. That's that's um, how it is. Awesome. Uh, are, you, are you able to just quick, very quickly explain the different processes involved from start to finish around a K one visa at all? Just 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 very briefly. All right. So to be honest with you, Peter, we cannot provide the process because. Each client has a different situation. I don't want to enclose something like this is the process, but that's you're not, you don't have the same situation as my basis. Yes. So it's really a different uh, sit, uh, process for each individual. I mean, um, it, it depends on the situation. And anyway, all clients can reach us anytime, as we mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. um, they can take advantage of their free visa consultation at their convenience. So, Just a couple more questions, if we may. Uh, mm -hmm. Once someone hires your services for a K-1 visa, for example, how long will it generally take to complete before the Filipina is on her way to the USA? Now, I know with COVID, things are a little bit, Mm -hmm. uh, a bit bit hard to say, but in, in general, say pre-COVID, how long would it, would it take roughly from start to finish? That's uh, for K-1 visa, usually it takes eight to 10 months in the process. But yes, as you said, right now we have to consider the current global condition due to COVID-19. Mm. We mm -hmm. hope that gets um, resolved fairly soon. We're hoping, fingers crossed. I know there's a lot of guys <laughs> out there who are, very keen to even get back over to the Philippines. Me, yes. me included, oh, I'm missing the Philippines. Oh. <laughs> many, many of us want to get back over there. So let's, fingers crossed. Yes. And um, I'll just finish off um, it, with one more question. Mm -hmm. Is there a standard fee for a K-1 visa and are there any discounts available if someone pays in full? I've had this mm -hmm. question yes. quite a few times. Mm -hmm. Yes, we offer a one-time fee with a huge amount of discount. And of course, there's also a payment plan which suits the client's capacity to pay and budget. So, mm -hmm. so something for everyone there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and, and of course, um, they get that very good service with you guys that, that you can only get really with professional services such as yourself. So, I'm really excited to be a, a new affiliate with you guys and be part of that and, and, and to be a bridge, I guess, to help getting people to interact with you guys and get their <laughs> Filipina over to the US. So that's pretty exciting stuff for me as well. Yes, I am excited for you too, um, Peter. And thank you. This is a wonderful help as well. Um, I know you are doing this for, for your channel, uh, for your vlog, but this is also a wonderful help for the website itself, the, the company, Filipino Visa. So I also would like to thank you for that. It's my pleasure. Any Anytime you want to have a chat, I'm, I'm here. So yes. all, all, always <laughs> you know a pleasure. You know where me. <laughs> I do, absolutely. And, and thank you again for taking time out of your valuable day to be here with a, mm -hmm. with um, all about Filipino relationships on YouTube. We certainly mm -hmm. appreciate it and we wish you all the very best and Christian Filipina and Filipino Visa, all the very best into the future. Thank you. I pray for for the best for you as well, Peter, and for, for your um, 
every plans that you have, please just let me know if you need any assistance, especially with your uh, partnership with us. I appreciate that very much. And once again, thank you so much. And you take care. You're welcome. You take care too. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Bye for now.